uh, we partnered with Volvo to bring Android P and Google services directly into the vehicle. So, uh, as I kind of mentioned to a few of you earlier, that Volvo has announced that they're going to be shipping Android last year, and they've announced this year that they're going to be shipping Google services like Google Play Store, Google Assistant, and Google Maps directly in the car. Uh, so what is kind of interesting and unique about this in partnership and also in this vehicle is that, for example, if you were to kind of get into a car um, and it would recognize your key fob, let's say, I'm just going to show it for quickly, you can see that right now it's kind of set up for Stan, right? Um, so, and I'll show when we switch to somebody else later what happens. So as a Stan gets into a car, we can see that it's connected to Stan's phone. Uh, we can see that his music is set up. Uh, we can see that there's a map in a cluster, uh, which is oh, set yeah. up for navigation. So it's, it's slightly bit different that you probably saw over there, but you can set up for mapping. Uh, and we also see that this has been lined up with Stan's calendar, right? So in this case, if Stan wanted to navigate somewhere, he can, for example, just quickly click, click here and it would just open up the map and it would start navigating to whatever the whatever the meeting is, if you will, right? So mm -hmm. uh, a little bit challenging and still loading up, like we're, we're dealing with some of the more interesting issues, but it's like at some point it basically loads up the map and it starts kind of navigating to wherever the meeting is. So um, other things, um, we obviously have all third party apps that you would probably see in the RAM as well, which is kind of cool. So you have Google Play Music, NPR, Pocket Cast, some of the apps. Um, if you were to click on a Pocket Cast, we can see that it loads it up. It looks, so this has been developed by Volvo, but at the same time, the developer doesn't have to do anything. So the nice thing is you can click on it um, and we can see that it just starts basically playing. Um, and it's all integrated with a car. So we can see that, for example, here navigation is set up now to navigate. So it's kind of in a three, it's hard to see, but there's like 3D buildings kind of arising. It's more to give you orientation. While, for example, you have access to music here and you can kind of pause it, you can go between the apps. You can also see now on the front screen, you get access to all the third party kind of um, buttons, if you will. So you can, these are all different per app. So if I were to load up something like uh, for example, Spotify, um, and we can see that the Spotify will load up in a few seconds. And if I were to play it, we can see that in a few seconds, this will update to Spotify. Um, so I need to does. manually switch between music services uh, while I'm driving. Isn't that distracting? So you can use voice for everything uh -huh. as well. So this is, I mean, to be fair, this is the way it works today as well. Like if mm -hmm. you wanted to listen to radio, uh, you can, uh, so we can see the Spotify now loaded up all of the, its own things, right? If you wanted to do radio, which is something new that we haven't shown before. So this is real radio, actually, radio stations that are loading up. Mm -hmm. So, um, and we can see that this is live radio that's picking up from here. So, so two point about changing sources, um, you do have to manually change it, but you can use voice to say, like if I were to say, thank you, play Queen. Playing Queen on Google Play Music. So we can see that because Google Play Music is what I have set as my default, uh, default service, at some point it will basically pick up and start playing, right? So, so you had to put you push the button then on the steering wheel to activate that. Can you say the phrase as well? Or yeah, so you can do it. You don't have to, like we're still working like okay Google, hey Google, yeah. like all of the other ones you can do those as well. So that does exist. Uh, but I mean what we've noticed also from our studies is that a lot of people still like having actual steering wheel button rather but then than it using. limits it to the passengers can't use it, only the driver can reach the So button. it's I mean yeah, but also as a passenger the voice is not necessarily the most critical component. Just True. it's yeah. it's like I mean when it really comes down you can use it, you're one hundred percent correct as a passenger, we're looking how to add that in, but mm -hmm. voice is more about safety mm -hmm. and interaction as a passenger. You should be able to. So also right now, you can't say OK Google and get it to do something. Oh, uh, actually, that's a good question. OK Google. Hey Google. Work on my cell phone. So Hey Google. So it does. So it does working actually with Hey yeah. Google. So it does work actually, and yeah. you can see it in the other car. So it does function. Um, so someone from the back. So now you also have the Play Store integrated uh, yes. uh, on the screen, right? And you can see also things like notification. They are doing a shade. We don't do a shade in the other one. But yeah, you do have Play Store as well. So this is a full Play Store that you can see. It's um, the full Play Store. Or, or, or are these just apps that have been... Uh... So full Play Store, what I mean is full functionality of the okay. Play Store. The apps are actually the apps that are available in this vehicle that you can download and set okay. up, right? So we have thousands of apps and these apps are primarily set for uh, in-car use. So mm -hmm. media and messaging are the primary ones mm -hmm. and you can install them you can set them up uh, and you can run them so it's a normal 
it's a normal approach that so it's like the android tv app store it'll only show you apps exactly this is exactly it's like yeah. and you know they won't build oh they've all been like driver distraction approved they mm -hmm. all run with the templates you can see it will install it network connectivity is not <laughs> not that great <laughs> no, like everybody's streaming yeah. something so i can't install uh, games on it I can't no you cannot uh, yeah they're not even available yeah, yeah. of so, course and yeah. that would be just too distracting yes yeah, so. <laughs> i noticed the android auto app the standalone one on the phone when you're running it my kids wanted to play some trivia game or something. And I'm like, oh god, I don't want to do that. Nah, I'll let them do it. And I said, sorry, you can't play games in the car. I'm like, yes. <laughs> Everybody wins. That's, that's, can, can you do that's a deliberate voice choice. Play, right? uh, can you play voice based games uh, like you can? Uh, with the so assistant? Play voice -based there is actually a lot of stuff that we're still going through, driver distraction, even in that area, because there's a lot of cognitive load for some of the games even well like even if it's voice based right you're still so, thinking about it. you're still thinking about it as i a, noticed some news apps as well here so how does that function does it bring up text on the screen no it's it's it all it's it, like it reads it out like so okay. npr is a good one that i use quite a bit so npr news it just basically reads out the news mm -hmm. and it's just it's voice based so that's what we announced uh, when we actually will so, be able to buy this car with android Auto so they haven't so they haven't announced exactly the okay. date but in the next few years it will be available okay. so and I think I've talked a little bit about user switching, so I'll cover that through. So, mm -hmm. uh, so if you were to switch, for example, to Emma in this case, uh, and watch your knees a little bit because things will gonna move. So we can see that the seats kind of moves, sets up. So we can see the mirrors get set up. And at some point you will, as the switches actually, it's gonna also switch into, for example, different sets of App, well, not different app, but you can see the calendar is different because this is set up to Emma's calendar. We can see it's a different set of apps that, um, oh, sorry, different. Um, and then we can see that the phone connects to Emma's phone as well. So the idea of this is we are going to see over time that the things are shared. And then as you walk into the car, as you press, for example, your key fob or on your phone, it will recognize and will set up the vehicle more to you so that everything functions properly. So all of the apps that I can download from the Play Store uh, can be voice controlled? So a lot of them can be voice controlled because you have simple things like play, pause, music. Uh, also, there's other things that we can do. For example, if you wanted to play a specific song that works with Spotify, it works with Google Play Music and a few other applications. And we're always expanding the catalog there. Mm -hmm. That's it.